I think the first time, you know, I read about Kilimanjaro in, like I said, some geography class, it has various climate zones, which is unique, right? It's in very close to, it's in Africa, close to equator, but it has a glacier, which unfortunately is melting now. But, uh, you know, and uh, you go through like a tropical zone, you go through an arid zone, you go through a desert, you go through rainstorms, and then you also get to uh, glaciers. So it's, uh, you know, it's actually not that it is difficult. It has just all this, uh, you know, climatic uh, zones, and you need to be uh, uh, prepared for that, right? So somehow that fascinated me, and uh, mm, something I did with a group of friends, and then, um, uh, you know, uh, different peaks in uh, Bhutan, and, you uh, uh, kind of Girwal Mountains in India and uh, but I mean you know I just love being in nature so it's uh, not just about the mountains or anything like that because I haven't like climbed Everest or K2 or anything you know that difficult uh, which takes intense uh, training which uh, unfortunately I haven't had the time for to set aside but I just like uh, spending time in nature so a great vacation for me is uh, 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 either with a book or uh, in the nature.